Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Ainora, if you're new to my channel. If you're my subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Today is going to be another Van Cleef unboxing. I did mention when I was unboxing my earrings, uh, the vintage Gioche Alhambra uh, earrings. I did recently unbox the earrings. I also have the necklace, the Gioche necklace. I have unboxings and the review of my necklace and I recently unboxed my earrings and I also have a vlog that uh, was, I was showing lots of uh, different Van Cleef pieces. In that vlog I did mention that I already uh, ordered something, something from Van Cleef. I was really having a hard time in the, my last Van Cleef vlog between the the Gyoshi ring or the onyx ring. I think I'm going to wait on the ring as of now. I'm very focused on something else and I will be unboxing on that item and I will also will cover what else I would like to get from Van Cleef. Oh, here is the bag from Van Cleef. My sales associate actually was so generous and gave me some chocolates. Whenever I go there, he they have like the best coffee in Van Cleef and they have the best chocolate. He really knows that I love their chocolate uh, with their coffee. So this time he gave me two chocolate boxes love them so much and um what else sorry um the the van cleef uh, care booklet and like a certificate authenticity certificate and also the receipt is here the booklet as usual i think i've shown a few times the, it has like a care advice service and authenticity certificate yeah. So let's go ahead and unbox this box. So from the shape of the box, you probably already know what it is. It's not a small piece, as you see. And I love the color of the box. I think it's like one of my favorite, like, um, neutral green color and the piece is the Gyoshi uh, Alhambra bracelet this is a vintage size um, vintage size this I think it's called like a charms like charms I'm not sure how it's called sorry um, I hope I the video my camera is focusing but I just want to show how shiny it is love it so much so I ordered this at the same time I was ordering the earrings I definitely wanted uh, the bracelet since I received uh, my necklace as a gift I always wanted another like Van Cleef pieces and I think I always wanted the bracelet more than any other piece from Van Cleef. Um, so when I went a uh, few weeks ago, I went and ordered the earrings. Uh, earrings were a surprising bit for me because I never thought I want the earrings, but when I tried the earrings uh, at that day, like I, they gave me the Onyx version and I tried it on and I was like, wow, the size is beautiful for every day, for going out. I love the size of the earring and I thought the earring will not look good on me because I do have very little ear lobes like very little so I cannot wear very big statement uh, earrings that's why the earrings were not on my wish list but when I tried the onyx version it looked the size looked really good but the black onyx on me like on my like because I have darker hair it did not look as nice as the, the this Gyoshi version and because I already have the necklace I wanted to kind of like complete the set so this is why I got the bracelet 
I did not go with the ring, although I'm still debating on which ring I should get. A lot of people are saying complete the set, the Gyoshi set, and get the Gyoshi ring. Uh, some people are saying Onyx is better, go with something different. So I think I'm gonna hold off on the ring. I'm gonna wait and see if I still like the ring. But for today, let's go ahead and unbox this beautiful uh, bracelet. So this is a Gyoshi bracelet. This each uh, piece is called motif. This is a five motif bracelet. And when you are purchasing the bracelet, it comes only in one size. It comes on the, it comes in size 19. And when I when it came, I tried it on, and it was obviously big on me because my wrist size, I believe it is, uh, I believe it's 17. I think I'm not sure because I'm wearing. I do wear my love bracelet on size 17, and uh, the Cartier, the. Justin Clue I wear in size 16 so size 19 was obviously very big on me so I quick I had to leave the bracelet for a few days and honestly it took so fast like they actually uh, adjusted it in like three days I believe in three days they finished it so in three days I had to go and collect it and I shortened it uh, to size 18 so they gave me like a silver I believe it's like it was like a silver uh, exact same uh, version um, with like a size reference so I tried the 17 it was a little tight I tried the 18 it was a little loose uh, my sales associate said they don't do half sizes, uh, but I believe 17 and a half would have been better on me. But I went ahead with 18 because my sales associate told me that it is a loose um, kind of bracelet because it's like a chain bracelet. That's why he suggested me to go a little loose than little than tight because if it's if you wear your bracelet tight it might break in like in time you know like in a, in a few years so i did go with size 18 i i want to like i want to wear and see if it's the right size if not if not i can still go and um shorten or you know like i can adjust it so the first time uh to shorten the bracelet is free it's complimentary uh with van cleave but if you want to come second the third time every time it is actually paid service i believe it's like 180 dollars roughly like that amount to to adjust to do anything with the Van Cleef pieces so when I left the, the necklace sorry not the necklace when I left the bracelet and when I had to pick it up he actually gave me another bag and he gave me the travel pouch so it's really cool I have the box and I also have the travel like, pouch and also he put the spare parts the par the parts that they removed uh, from my from my bracelet so it's a very little part so he said to keep it uh, just in case if I want to like make it bigger so it's just the these parts so they remove the, these parts like the chain parts so um yeah let's go ahead and try it on um i want to wear the bracelet actually on my left wrist because my right wrist is pretty kind of like complete completed a uh, look um so i do not like even my sales associate told me suggested me to wear the the bracelet the van cleef bracelet next to the watch or by itself whenever i'm not wearing the watch 
uh, he said it's really it looks much nicer when it's by itself on the other wrist because uh, the bracelets that I have on my right wrist are all bangles pretty much them most of them are bangles and they look kind of nice like this so let me go ahead and show you without the watch so this is how it looks it kind of falls a little bit on my wrist I thought it's a little big on me I still think it's a little loose but I kind of want to see try um, kind of wear it and try it because I'm not really used to loose bracelets I always I always had bangles so and bangles are much easier because they don't really move they're not really like malleable and all that stuff but the softer like a chain bracelet is a little different it has to be a little loose it cannot be tight on your wrist because you can really break it and damage it so this is how it looks on my wrist a little loose uh, if you guys have this bracelet, let me know. Does is it? Does it look all right? Is it too big? Should I go smaller? This is size 18. But I actually have been wearing this bracelet for uh, two days now. And what I did is I have my Rolex date adjust. I believe this is in size 31. And this is also in the yellow gold, so it matches the, the Van Cleef um, bracelet. So what I did is I've been wearing it like this for, for like a couple days now. And I really like it how it looks like this. So should I wear, like if I, it's a little big on me. I mean, not big. It's a little loose on me. That's why it's nice to wear uh, the, like, before the watch so first Van Cleef bracelet and then the watch and then the watch stops the bracelet from going like down here so as you see like when the watch comes like this um, it actually stops the bracelet going here so whenever I'm doing this like I mean like I don't know like does it look all right I still did not decide which wrist I'm gonna wear but i think like this it's so nice to wear with the watch because i do, i believe this will be a bit too much on my right wrist let me know like if i'm wrong but i'm actually gonna go ahead and try on my right wrist and show you the bracelet on my right wrist and i really hope i'm gonna manage it because Without help, it's it's very hard to put it on. I am right-handed, so it's really hard for me uh, to do it with my left hand. Okay. I did put it on by myself, so it is actually possible to put it on by yourself. So because the love bracelet is not that easy to put it on by yourself, so that's why, yeah, but the the Van Cleef one is a lot easier so this is how it looks on my right wrist so it because it's a size 18 it obviously has to be on the biggest like part on my of my wrist but this is looks okay like this but when, when I'm actually moving my wrist up and down uh, because it is a big size, it will kind of overlap and go over my other bracelets. As you see, it will kind of like try to go over my love bracelet, over other bracelets. So I do not like how it moves up and down on my on my right wrist and kind of like um, kind of like doesn't really look. I don't know like organic in this wrist so I do not I don't know why I'm still not used to the chain and bracelet that's why probably uh, it's just me not getting used to it but my favorite way as of now wearing and next to my watch because my watch is not as big this is a smaller Rolex uh, that's why it looks really nice next to it 
so but I have other watches that I like a little like sporty watches in the size 37 and I believe in the size 37 the vintage Alhambra necklace will be a little bit mm, not really matchy so here's my uh, unboxing of my bracelet I really really love it so much I think I am happy with my comp with my uh, set now so I have the earrings from the vintage Alhambra um, collection the Gyoshi collection I have the necklace and I do have the bracelet so I think this is good like I don't think I'm gonna get the earring not sorry that not the earring I think I don't think I'm gonna get the ring because it's gonna be too matchy maybe I will change my mind and get get a get the ring but as of now I am not really wanting the ring I actually want the another bracelet but in the in the stone a gate so I was thinking so much about the different stones. I really like the malachite. As you guys know, I love green color and malachite and emerald is one of my favorite stones. But my sales associate said malachite is very, very delicate. So I will not be able to wear it every day. So he did not suggest me that. And he said either onyx or agate is like the most durable stone that you can wear every day, shower and swim in it. So I, I thought I wanted the onyx next, but when I saw the agate in that beautiful blue color, because my favorite color is green and blue, and it made sense that I have to get the agate. So my next item on my wish list from VCA will be the agate bracelet five motif bracelet I it's just so so beautiful maybe a bracelet maybe a ten motif necklace I'm not sure like I don't know like how it's gonna look on my necklace on my neck sorry as a necklace but I love the agate so much so my sales associate said it's actually not in stock I have to like fully pay it and then wait until it's uh, until they receive it so let's uh, have fingers crossed maybe someday I will get it um, it's on my wish list so I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching let me know what you guys think of my new bracelet and please subscribe to my channel like my videos and follow me on Instagram and I will see you later bye bye